the morning of December 7, 1941, 22-year-old Airman Shigenori Nishikaichi was flying a Mitsubishi Zero aircraft with a flight group attacking the southeastern part of Oahu during the Pearl Harbor attack. Nishikaichi's plane was hit by American air ground forces and bullets punctured his gas tank, causing him to fall behind the other planes. Nishikaichi was told by his superiors to land on the Ihao and await rescue by a Japanese naval submarine. Intelligence from the Japanese Navy stated that the island was uninhabited. As Nishikaichi flew closer, he could see people and buildings. The island was definitely inhabited with Polynesian natives. He crashed into a native's backyard, Howard Havila Kaleohano. Kaleohano rushed to the scene, removed the day's pilot out of the wreckage, took away his sidearm and what appeared to be official papers. Soon after, he called for two Japanese residents who lived on Niihau. Ishimaru Shintani and Yoshio Harada were asked to translate. Nishikaiji told Harada about the Pearl Harbor attack and asked for his assistance. Harada did not tell any of the locals about the recent attack and lied to them to help the pilot. Later that day, word of the attack reached the Niihauans and the situation escalated. Upon the news of the attack, Nishikaichi was taken captive to the northern point of the island to be sent later to Kauai by Almer Robinson. During his captivity, he managed to recruit the uncertain Harada to his cause, so he could enact his plan of death with honor. Nishikaichi and Harada loaded up a wagon with weapons from the damaged Japanese Zero and captured Niihau residents as prisoners. They searched Kaleo Hano's home for the plane's papers, then burned it down in frustration. Ben Kanahele, a six-foot native Hawaiian known for his remarkable strength, was captured after returning to the village. He then was forced to search for Kaleo Hano, who knew that Kaleo Hano left for Kauai and pretended to look for him. The pilot threatened the island's residents that if they could not bring out Kaleo Hano, all of them would be shot. Eventually, Ben and his wife found the perfect time to strike and launch at Nishikaichi, who was trying to hand over his shotgun to Harada. Nishikaichi was too swift and managed to shoot Kanahele with his pistol three times. Ben was enraged and threw the pilot against a stone wall, and his wife bashed his head in with a rock while Ben slit his throat with a knife. Harada, realizing that it was over, placed the shotgun muzzle towards his gut and pulled the trigger. Ben Kanahele later recovered from his wounds and was awarded two presidential citations, the Medal of Merit, and a Purple Heart by the President of the United States. This marked the end of the Niihau incident and many argue whether or not it was the catalyst of the executive order signed by President Roosevelt which placed around 100,000 Japanese Americans in internment camps. Mm -hmm.